so we're going to do the pour over method of coffee. I got the water boiling in here. We have our pour over device, our cone filter, our mug, and our coffee of choice. So once the water is boiling, I'm going to wet the filter, put it in there, add our coffee, and I'll show you the rest here in just a second. Okay, our water is now boiled. And as you can see, I've wet the cone filter, added two scoops of coffee. Sorry for the poor lighting. And all I'm going to do is pour some water in the beginning. And that's about it. And that noise you're hearing is the pour over actually working. And we'll add some more water. And I like to add the water and keep rinsing off the grinds from the edge of the cone. I don't know if that's a scientific method, but that's the way I've, I've always done it. Just to make sure that the grounds get recycled and, and uh, that way you're not just constantly using the same grounds. Make sure you incorporate all of the grounds, all of the coffee. Everybody gets treated equally. No trophy here, but everybody gets the same treatment. And then what you want to do every so often is lift it up and check to make sure you're not going to overfill your cup by adding too much water. And as you hear it die down, just add some more water. And yes, that's my coffee grinder. Freshly ground coffee as of this morning. I like to get it in the whole bean because I can keep it longer. Check the lid. And I don't know if you can see that, but we're getting close. So we can add more water. And we still have the dust on the thing from what I used it last out in the field this past summer. And I'll have to use some uh, some music here to da na 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 na. Hey, did you hear about the joke? No, I won't do that. I won't torture you people like that. And it's pretty much slowed down now, and that's just about right. So we're not going to need to. We're not going to add any more water. But what I do like about this, because this is silicon, silicone, however you choose to say it. And that comes in handy because as you'll notice, it's not really going down anymore. It's pretty much just dripping through. So what I like to do with this, and this specifically, is I fold the cone filter in and we still have water in there. And I fold this over and press. And because it's silicone, I'm not gonna burn my fingers by pressing on this boiling water, but I am gonna press the water through the coffee. Now, if you have a degree in coffeeology or whatever it's called, you might be banging on the keyboard to yell at me uh, save your time. I don't care. <laughs> this is the way I do it. And if you don't like it, that's fine. And the cool thing about the lid is when you're done, you rest it in there and anything that does drip in there until you have time to clean it up, it catches it and doesn't make a mess. And now we have our cup of coffee.
and this is where you add whatever additives in your coffee that you want and enjoy. That's it. See y'all.